Hello everyone, myself Hena Shah. So today we are going to discuss topics named vector and its properties, parametrization and arc length. So let us start with vector and its properties. A vector is a quantity that is determined by both its magnitude and direction. So it is denoted by V bar or vector V bar. So we can denote by this notation or using an arrow. Or we can write it as V1, V2, V3 and V1 I cap plus V2 J cap plus V3 K cap. So if I write A bar as 1, 2, 3, I can write this as I cap plus 2 J cap plus 3 K cap. Now how to find the length of the magnitude of vector V bar? So the notation is mod V bar or we can call it as length of V bar or magnitude of V bar. So it is given by square root of V1 square plus V2 square plus V3 square. So if I want to find the length of A bar, so length of A bar will be square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square, right? So in this manner you can find the length or the magnitude of any vector. Now if the length of the magnitude that is if mod V bar is 1, then V bar is called unit vector, okay? Now, let us study some properties that is how to add two vectors. So, the sum of A bar plus V bar, where A bar is A1, A2, A3 and V bar is V1, V2, V3. So, this is obtained by adding the corresponding components that is A bar plus V bar is equals to, we have to take the first component from each and add it. So, A1 plus V1 comma A2 plus V2 comma A3 plus V3. Now, scalar multiplication. So, the product C A bar, where C is scalar quantity or we can say constant, right? So, if I multiply scalar quantity with a vector, so the product C A bar of any vector A bar is equals to A1, A2, A3. Right, where C is the scalar can be obtained by multiplying each component of A bar by C. So we can write the C A bar as C A1 comma C A2 comma C A3. So if I have vector A bar as 1, 0 and 1 and vector B bar as 2, 1, 3. So what will be my A bar plus B bar? Just we have to add this, right? So 1 plus 2, so 3, 1 and 4. You have to add component ones. And if I take my C as 4 and find C A bar, so C into A bar, it will be equal to, you have to just multiply this by 4. So it will be equal to 4, 0, 4. Fine, so this is vector addition and scalar multiplication. Now there are few properties of vector addition. They are A bar plus B bar is equal to B bar plus A bar. So, this is known as commutative property, right? Now, A bar plus B bar plus C bar. So, you have to write this in bracket. So, it is equals to A bar plus in bracket B bar plus C bar. So, this is known as associative law. Right? Next, A bar plus 0 bar is equals to 0 bar plus A bar. And that is equals to A bar. So, 0 is our additive identity right so whenever we add with 0 bar 0 bar means what 0 comma 0 comma 0 then it will get the same answer same way this is the additive inverse so a bar plus minus a bar will be what 0 vector right similarly we have basic properties of scalar multiplication so c times a bar plus b bar is equal to c a bar plus c b bar Similarly, if I have scalar as C plus K A bar, it can be written as C A bar plus K A bar. C into bracket K A bar can be written as C into K times A bar. Similarly, this is multiplicative identity. 1 into A bar will be A bar. 0 into A bar will be 0 vector. And minus 1 into vector A will be what? Minus vector A bar. Right? So now... Let us study the dot product of vectors. 
So the dot product a bar dot b bar of two vectors a bar is equal to a1 a2 a3 and b bar is equal to b1 b2 b3 is given by a bar dot b bar is equal to you have to take the first component and multiply so a1 b1 put plus in between plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 so this is the formula of dot product now there are some properties of dot product of vectors so if there are three vectors vector a b and c then a bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot a bar now the next property is in bracket if we have vector a bar plus b bar dot c bar then how to modify this how to write this we have to write it as a bar dot c bar plus b bar dot c bar okay so this way these are the properties of dot product now there is one more formula that is angle between two vectors so if i want to find my angle between vector a and vector b so the formula is cos theta is equals to a bar dot b bar upon length of a bar into length of b bar so if i am given any two vectors a bar and b bar i have to use this formula to find the angle between two vectors right and if our dot product value is zero right then vector a bar is orthogonal to vector b bar that is vector a and vector b are perpendicular right that is the value of theta will be what pi by 2 right so now we will study cross product of vectors the product a bar cross b bar for two vectors a bar is equals to a1 a2 a3 and b bar is equals to b1 b2 b3 is given by vector a cross vector b is equals to you have to write i cap j cap k cap now write your vector a that is a1 a2 a3 write your vector b bar that is b1 b2 b3 you have to solve this determinant in order to find the cross product now there are few properties of cross product So, if there are three vectors a bar, b bar, and c bar, then vector a bar cross b bar plus c bar will be equals to a bar cross b bar plus a bar cross c bar. Similarly, if I have these two in brackets in addition, vector a bar plus vector b bar cross c bar, then you have to do first cross product of a bar and c bar plus do cross product of b bar and c bar. now for cross product we cannot write a bar cross b bar is equals to b bar cross a bar we cannot write this right so we can say that for cross product a bar cross b bar is equals to minus b bar cross a bar and lastly i cap cross j cap is equals to k cap j cap cross k cap is equals to i cap and k cap cross i cap is equals to j cap so these are the vector and its properties so next let us study parametrization of curves so the position vector r bar of t of any point on the curve can be written as r bar of t is equals to x of t i cap plus y of t j cap plus z of t k cap so if i want to write the parametrization of circle right for example so what will be firstly write the parametric equations of circle so x is equals to a cos t and y is equals to a sin t these are your parametric equation of circle so the parametrization r bar of t is given by a cos t i cap plus a sin t j cap okay similarly if i want to write the parametrization of parabola i know the parametric equation of parabola right they are what x is equals to 80 square and y is equals to 280 right so the parametrization of parabola r bar of t will be 80 square i cap plus 280 j cap okay so now next let us study arc length how to find the arc length so the position vector r bar of t of any point on the curve can be written as r bar of t is equals to x t i cap plus y of t j cap plus z of t k cap 
So the tangent vector, if whenever we want to find the tangent, we will find its derivative. So let us find the derivative of this in order to find the tangent vector. So r dash of t will be x dash t i cap y dash t j cap z dash t k cap. Just to do individual derivative of each component, right? Now if I want to find the length of r dash t, so I will take square root of this square plus this square plus this square, that is x dash t square plus y dash t square plus z dash t square. So now r length of the curve is given by s is equals to integration from a to b mod r dash t dt. Now if my curve is given in this form, that is y is equals to f of x, then the formula of r length is s is equal to integration from a to b square root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square dx. So if you are given our example in r bar of t form, then use this formula. And if you are given the example in the form of y is equals to f of x, you have to apply this formula. So now let us study example. So we have to find the r length of the portion of the circular helix where your r bar of t is cos t i cap plus sin t j cap plus t k cap, right? And t is varying from 0 to pi. So whenever my position vector is given firstly, I have to find r dash of t. So it will be minus sin t i cap plus cos t j cap plus k cap. You have to do individual, right? derivatives of each component. Now I have to find mod r dash t, right? So it will be square root of minus sine t whole square plus take this cos t whole square plus 1 square. Now this is equals to sine square t plus cos square t plus 1. Now we know sine square plus cos square is 1. So our mod r dash t will be equals to square root of 2. Now the formula of r length is s is equal to integration from a to b mod r dash of t dt, right? Now just put the values of a and b, that is 0 and pi. So 0 to pi, your mod r dash t is what? Square root 2, right? So square root 2 dt. Just integrate, so answer will be square root 2. We can keep outside, integration will be t limits are 0 to pi. Put the limit, so answer will be root 2 pi. So this is the answer of the r length. Now let us study one more example. So we have to find the length of the curve y is equal to log sec x from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to pi by 3. Now the curve is given in the form y is equal to f of x, right? So the r length formula is s is equal to integration a to b square root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square dx. Now firstly, so we will find the dy by dx where our y is log sec x just to the derivative of this. So it will be 1 upon sec x into sec x tan x, right? Now this sec x will get cancelled out so our dy by dx will be equals to tan x. Now let us put this value in the formula. So integration from now our values of a and b are 0 and pi by 3 square root of 1 plus 10 square x dx. Now we know that uh, 1 plus 10 square is what x square? So 0 to 5 by 3 square root of x square x dx. So finally what will remain? Integration from 0 to 5 by 3 sec x dx. Now integration of sec x is what? Log mod sec x plus 10x. And your limits are 0 to 5 by 3. Now let us put the values of the limits. So if I put pi by 3, right? So it will be log sec pi by 3 plus 10 pi by 3. But the value of sec pi by 3 is 2. Value of 10 pi by 3 is root 3. Right? If I put the 0, right? What we will get log 1 because sec 0 is 1, 10 0 is 0. So log 1 and answer is log of log 1 is what? 0. So final answer of the arc length S is log mode 2 plus 2 3. Okay.
Okay. So I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.